Hello and welcome everyone. If you're new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you're new, then subscribe to this channel and let us begin. Aviral Nigam, uh, I'm learning Java development from Wipro portal, but I got .NET in Cognizant. But problem of getting joining early in Wipro is more then I should learn both or focus on Java development only. I would suggest focus on one thing. So I'm learning. Let me let me get your question correctly again. I am learning Java development from Wipro portal. OK, but I got .NET in Cognizant. But problem of getting joining early in Wipro is more then I should learn both or focus on Java development only. See, here is the thing. You have already got a job in Cognizant. That's what I understand from this. Okay. And you are trying Java development, but you are working in .NET at present in Cognizant. Okay. Whether good to go to Java, if see if, if you know Java really well, then to go into Java is good. But at the end, all programming languages are same. All programming. Don't focus on the programming language. Focus on the product you are building. Focus on the application you are building. Focus on the client that you are serving. Focus on the actual work that you are doing. Okay, because see, if you are a good, if you are an excellent programming in C, if you are an excellent programmer, programmer in C sharp, and you know everything, let's say from today to the next five years, you did everything in .NET, and now you are like a master in .NET. You can do everything in .NET. You know WCF, you know front end programming, back end programming, you know database development, everything. You know Azure Cloud development, uh, everything in .NET you can do. Now, at that point, if you want to shift from .NET to Java, it will not even take you three months or it will not take you one project to shift from .NET to Java. OK, but the focus should not be on programming language. Programming language is a tool to build an application. The focus should be on building the application. See, if you are a carpenter, Will you think which drill machine should I use? No. If there are two drill machines, you will use the best drill machine that you have at that point of time. Correct? You will not say, oh, I have this drill machine, but I want to get another. Java is a tool. .NET is a tool. All the programming languages are tool to build applications. And what is important? Building the application is important focus on your application focus on the services you are providing with the skills you have don't focus too much on the programming language because I will tell you that you don't know tomorrow some programming language may become redundant okay Java can become redundant. .NET can become redundant. Of course, for the next uh, 30, 40 years, nothing, none of these programming languages are going to become redundant because uh, this programming language, the entire software industry, if you think about a software industry, just the Indian software industry is amounting to $1.81 billion. This is 2020 uh, I'm talking about. $181 billion. What, what, does, it, what does it mean? It means that so many companies in the world have invested so much of money, $181 billion for all the applications and services and all everything related to the software industry. So you cannot think about the tools you are using. What, what you have to think about you have to think about the application you're going to build. You may be just building, you may be writing a, you know, one line of code, but that one line of code is helping some client in a very big way. Then that is important. 
if you keep focusing on programming languages then that that will be a problem uh, moving forward your growth will be stagnant because at at a certain level everybody knows at least one or two programming languages everybody knows the same level of programming language after 3 years how much more programming language will you know not much more than what you already know but after 3 years the level of your building an application will differ a vast majority okay after 3 years today maybe to build a certain application it takes you 6 months maybe after 3 years it will take you only 2 uh, weeks to build such an application because you understand completely how to build a particular this type of an application and you are able to do that okay and in that you have mastered all these tools whatever tools you are using okay so don't focus if i would suggest if you are having a job okay then focus on now growing in your job see every job is like a train if you want to go to a certain destination and let's say you have to change your trains to reach that destination that does not matter how many trains you have to change the destination is important so decide your destination what is the destination and don't decide your destination on programming languages yes you start with one programming language to begin with but after that focus on the applications you are building focus on the technologies technologies are um ar vr is a technology machine learning uh, uh, artificial intelligence is a technology uh, you know uh, development in drones is a technology or uh, 3d printing is a technology digital marketing is a technology uh, digital production is a technology uh, manufacturing digital manufacturing is a technology so these are technologies internet of things is a technology can you do all these things using any programming language today yes of course you can build an internet of things using python or dot net or java you can build a artificial intelligence and machine learning machine with python or uh, or java or dot net correct so these are just tools don't focus too much on tools focus on application focus on the services you are going to provide that is going to rise you see all the people who are watching this show at present remember one thing the easiest mantra for growth in the software industry is this focus on your deliveries the project that you are working on how well you can do the project how quickly with quality and with efficiency can you deliver this project okay i see a lot of programmers in the beginning years they try to uh, you know they are trying to learn programming on the project and what they do is they don't write the code they already know they try to write some new code and then the project goes bad the project fails or the code is is mismanaged to an extent that it cannot be corrected okay you don't want to do that you want to use your tools in such a way the way you have mastered things already okay and don't keep your uh, legs in two boats and try to uh, you you will fall in the water okay so this this is just a suggestion from my side but after all this you say amit i just want to do java development then focus fully on java focus fully on java okay and as soon as possible come out of java uh, come out of cognizant or learn java development and within cognizant get a switch into java cognizant will have many projects on java correct so you can do various things that are there but please understand all of you who are hearing this don't be the person who is foc- see coding is a mason's job you know when you are building a a uh, building a house there is an architect who is designing the house and then there is a mason the person who is laying the bricks that is the last level of the job correct that is the last level the person who is laying the bricks and coding is such a job within software development it is the last level writing a code is the last level of the job of course we are 
we have to be very intelligent and we have to work really hard to become a programmer and everything but that is within the software industry that is the last level of the job that is the reason software architects software designers uh, uh, managers in software they get much more salary than the software engineer and look at this uh, companies will hire freshers to put on the job why because that job can be done even by a fresher okay so don't focus on that focus on application as a whole what application i am building what client how does the business work and how my application is helping the business understand this philosophy of how this business uh, how i can help the business by building this kind of an application that is more important than the tools that you are using okay tools you should master okay always the the saying is there that uh, if i was given to cut a tree then i will spend 8 hours sharpening the saw saw and 1 hour to cut the tree okay that's what you should master the tools no problem with that but don't focus on too many different tools all the tools at the bottom of it are same okay i hope that helps you uh, musings by software engineers is a live show for you who want to make a career in software industry all those people who are watching my program who want to grow in their salary who want to grow in the career faster uh, look at my program of how to become a players uh, link will be in the description and see you in the next live